Welcome back to Talk About LA's Two Minute Reviews. I'm Stephen Palatano with Brad Jacobson behind the camera. And old timers in Manhattan Beach shed tears when the hibachi restaurant went away. Another old time icon of the South Bay, but in its place rose Rock and Fish, which is becoming its own icon with its fresh fish and the return of the Navy Grog. So we're here with master of the dining universe of Manhattan Beach, Mike Zilslis. Mike, these are some of the signature dishes of Rock and Fish. Tell me a minute about this, this artichoke, because I love this artichoke. I think what really gives it the flavor is the oak. We cook over red oak logs, but we, you know, we steam them, then we chill them, section them, and then we just put them on the grill with salt and butter. Let's hear about the steak right here, and this is gonna be Brad's favorite. This is the Kapalua ribeye. Uh, I would say it's our signature item. I kind of had a steak like it somewhere in Hawaii, Kapalua, and uh, it's a teriyaki marinade, 72 hours. And the real problem with it is, if we marinate it a day more, it's not as good, or a day less. And so that's our hardest item to execute here. Okay, so Mike, this is another one of my favorites. This is your New Orleans style barbecue shrimp. You know, Rock and Fish to me was like a compilation of San Francisco, some great seafood houses in the Northwest, New Orleans, and maybe Chicago steakhouses. So that's something I saw in New Orleans. I had to bring it home. Uh, the only complaint we ever get about it is it's too spicy. And Mike, finally, the halibut. This looks fantastic. This is our number one selling dish. And unfortunately, we don't have it all the year because it's only fresh about seven months out of the year. And this is our go-to dish if you're in a seafood mood. This restaurant, which has become such a favorite in Manhattan Beach, replaced the hibachi. But one of the signature drinks that you brought over from there that a lot of people remember is the Navy Grog. The Navy Grog was the institutional drink of Manhattan Beach. And it's still what I call the Mai Tai on steroids. Take an Uber or a cab, you're gonna need one. Do not drive after drinking these things. <laughs> you guys put so much attention and detail into your dishes, but you also have put that into the place as well. So all these embellishments you see here are things I put in over the first five or 10 years. We like the fire lamps inside, those are from New Orleans, and then some chandeliers we found in, uh, actually they're from France, the big chandeliers in the dining room. So we found these things over time and we embed them into the place. Rock and Fish and all your other flagship restaurants, you're always giving back to the community. We appreciate that. Thank you, and I think it's great to support our hospitals as we're getting older support our schools because we have all these kids and those are important things there you have it if you have not been to rock and fish you've got to try it if you have and you haven't been here for a while you got to come back it's november it's anniversary month and we want to thank mike zissel again for his time and for his dedication to the community here in manhattan beach 